Hello everyone, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we will solve logical interview questions which will ask in Automation Anywhere interviews. If you are new to my channel, if you want to learn Automation Anywhere from the scratch, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Second logical based question is find positive, negative or zero. Example task will be like write a program to check if given number is positive, negative or zero. Input we have to take it from user single integer and output we have to show like if the number is positive then it is a positive. If the number is negative then it's a negative. If number equals to zero then we have to show it as zero. How we can solve using automation anywhere? The solution will be looks like this. If the positive number will be a greater than zero, right? Negative number, we will call it as less than zero. If the value is equals to zero means it is exactly zero, right? So this solution we have to replicate in the automation anywhere tool. So let's see how we can do this in automation anywhere. We will add first steps to solve this particular question. The step one is let me take a step into work area and zero one step. Get number from user, right? We have to get the number from user. And our second step is so let me take a second step zero two. Find number is positive or negative or zero right this is how we have to find the solution our first step is our get the number from user right how we can get the number from user in automation anywhere using prompt we have a option called prompt in automation anywhere we have to take prompt for a value and prompt window caption is find positive negative or zero bot right and what is the message we have to display to user please enter number right once the user will give a number where exactly it has to save maybe we can create one variable called str input or you can consider str number input right because we are taking the number value from user but it will save in the string value by default in the prompt for value let's see how we can convert into number in the next step so our first step is completed next step is find the number is positive or negative or zero right to do that we have to take a condition package that is if take a if condition and as we are dealing with a number condition type in the search number and select number condition and in the source value what is exactly the value you want to compare the value is str number input right but unfortunately this is in the string data type your source value is expecting a number data type how we can convert from string to number we can convert using inline conversion we will call it as type casting before your last dollar symbol you have to add a dot then to number just you have to type it as dot to number so this will convert your string data type to number data type in automation anywhere very easily so then our first condition is what positive number or not we have to check it right to get the positive number or not that condition we have to use greater than condition then target value is zero we have to check the value is greater than zero or not after that let me add a message box and i will type here the number so where we have a number str number input is positive 
right so if the number is greater than 0 then it is a positive the second condition so in case the first condition is not satisfied then we have to go with the else if second condition so you can add a more than two else if conditions based on your process okay so here we have a totally three different scenarios one is positive one if condition one is negative one else con else if condition one is zero we can use a else condition to do that i am taking else if and in the condition i am taking again number condition and same way we have to take str number input and we have to convert to number using dot to number and if it is greater than we have completed already less than zero right so less than zero so then copy this message box okay we can copy like this and you can paste it after your action right so here instead of positive let me take it as negative that's it and the last condition we have in case if the user is given zero then we have to show it as zero to do that i will add a else condition right and we can take a message box the number zero is zero like this Let's see how exactly this bot will execute, right? So let's run the bot and see. First bot will deploy your code into your machine. Then it will show you the pop-up, input pop-up called, please enter number. First we will take a positive number, okay? So I will take a nine. Nine is a positive number and I'm clicking okay. And your bot will show the message box as, the number nine is positive. Yes, our bot is working as expected. So let's run the bot again and see another condition is negative scenario, right? Let's give some negative number like maybe minus eight. So any number you can take it with minus symbol and click OK. So now bot will give you the number is negative number, right? So like this, we are getting the output. Yes, this is also as per the expectation bot is giving the result. Let's see the last condition that is zero right let me run the bot for third condition once the bot will show input so let's add a zero input and click ok so now the bot is giving a value as the number is zero so basically like this we can solve any type of logical reasoning question very easily in automation anyway if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. I have already created RPA related videos in my YouTube channel. Please go through all YouTube videos and get the knowledge. Happy learning. Go be great.